Hello, and welcome to ShipU Stats. In this video, we're going to go over two way chi squared, which is also known as a chi squared test of independence. To do this, we're going to use the contingency table function in JAP. A two way chi squared test will allow us to test for relationships between categorical variables. A two way chi squared test will allow us to see if two independent variables that are both nominal or categorical are related to each other. Specifically, it will allow us to see if being in one category on one independent variable influences the likelihood of being in a category on the other independent variable. For example, we could ask if participating in Greek life or not influences the likelihood that someone is a smoker or not. You could also look at one's home state and how that might influence whether or not someone is a smoker. All of the variables in these examples are both nominal or categorical. All right, let's go set up our data. To run a two-way chi-squared test in JASP, we'll first have to enter our data into a spreadsheet. We'll start by putting our variable names in the first row, and then we'll enter our data so that a number represents a category. Here I have zeros representing non-Greek members, and ones representing Greek members. I have zeros representing non-smokers, and ones representing smokers, and then I have three different states listed with their numbers here. All right, once we've done that, we can go ahead and save it as the correct file type, and then we can go ahead and open it in JASP. Now that we have our data opened in JASP, we should do a couple of things before we run our analyses. First, we should make sure we have the right scale of measure for our variables. For a chi-squared test, we need either nominal or ordinal selected for our variables. We should then also make sure we label our values correctly. To do this, go ahead and click on the variable name, and you can enter labels for each of your values. Once you've done this, we can also go ahead and get descriptive statistics for each of our variables. All right, now it's time to run a two-way chi-squared. To run our analysis, we'll go ahead and click on frequencies, and then to contingency tables. A contingency table is a table that shows us the breakdown of our participants in different categories across both of our independent variables. To run this analysis, we'll go ahead and take one of our independent variables and place it in rows and the other into columns. The order doesn't matter, but it will change what your table looks like. As you can see in this table, I have a breakdown of the count of participants in different categories across both of my independent variables. Down here, I have my chi squared value my degrees of freedom, my sample size, and my p-value. As you can see, my p-value is not significant, which suggests that these two variables are not related to each other, or they're independent of one another. We can also select additional options by clicking on cells, which will give us the percentages for our rows and columns, or our expected values. We can also change the order of our tables here. All right, so we have an insignificant p-value here. Let's take a look at our other question. Let's move Greek over here and move state of origin back into rows. Here we have a new contingency table, a new chi squared value, a new degrees of freedom, and a new p value. As you can see, this p value is significant, which suggests that there is a relationship between our states and smoking. All right, now that we have our data, we can go ahead and write this up in APA format. In our first example, we had an insignificant p-value, which suggested that there was not a relationship between our two independent variables, Greek life and smoking. To write this up, I wrote a sentence where I showed that Greek life was not statistically significantly related to whether or not someone smoked. I then entered my statistics down here. I started with my chi-squared value, my degrees of freedom and sample size in parentheses, my chi-squared value itself, and then a p-value. In my next example, I did have a significant relationship between my two independent variables, one state of origin, and whether or not someone smoked. I've written a sentence that conveyed that, and then I've entered my statistics again here. My degrees of freedom and sample size in parentheses, my chi-squared value, and my p-value. All right, thank you for watching this video on how to do a two-way chi-squared test in JASP. 